Hello and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we are packing up in Cortona, where we spent two nights. I think so, two or three. And then we're heading down to Siena for the day, and then we're going to stay the evening in a little yeah, little just, Airbnb in the country. Yeah, just outside so, of Siena. Stay tuned. <laughs> There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, it's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow, I wanna settle down Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on This morning I noticed a little, well quite a big bug in the window and I went to look and it was like this little scorpion, I guess it would be a little scorpion but still it was a scorpion, yeah. I'd never seen one of those before. It's only about this big, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. nonetheless. Yeah, I thought oh wow, that was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, so. so yeah, we I had to load up Pepe and clean all the grass and the weeds and the roots out of his tires that washed down with the big rainstorm yeah, the other day. We had a huge rainstorm and wow, the water was yeah. rushing down those hilltop Cer town streets. and <laughs> Yeah, I certainly do. And By the time see it the... got to us, we were probably about the middle. I can't imagine once it got to the bottom. Yeah, what it looked if like. you missed it, you can catch it in the last episode. It'll mm -hmm. be in there. Yeah. But uh, so I'm riding solo out this morning because even though it doesn't look it in the, in the video, it is quite steep and and uh and all the cobbles and yeah so i thought hey i'll film you <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm still newly minted from the wipeout so i'm a little <laughs> yeah. i'm a little nervous but we made it down to the parking lot and yeah. got loaded up and uh in Tuscany region, I suppose. Yeah. The Tuscany area of Italy is beautiful. It's just the rolling hills and the winding roads. It, it's a real motorcycle or motorcycle or just <laughs> You yeah. ride it along the ridges and you got these on all around you. Yeah, yeah, and so we, we wheedled our way through town and, and headed out, and uh, yeah, for the most part it was a great, you know, it, it's been unsettled weather. Yeah. Unsettled weather for a yeah. couple of days. So we uh, kind of keep an eye on the clouds. I think just as we were heading out, we noticed really big black clouds, so we thought, well, I think maybe we should just pull our gear on. <laughs> yeah, put your gear on and it won't rain. Leave yeah. your gear off and it will rain. After being in Cortona and having a few of those crazy storms go through, oh, yeah. we just thought it might be best. Yeah, so we just, I mean, we, we geared up and headed into the next little town. And, and it did rain. Yeah, yeah we and did. we had coffee there, we yeah. took, a, took a break. We decided to stop because the roads were really wet and hey, it was coffee time, so yeah. we might as well just check out every little town you come into has something interesting to see. Yeah, so. you better have a hot, big coffee budget. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
So once we arrived in Siena, um, the weather had pretty much I quit think, raining, but no, it was cool. It, it was raining when we got there. Was it still? Yeah, yeah. I know it was quite cool, and we stayed in our gear, but we walked. We wanted to get right into the. We only had allowed ourselves the one day or yeah. the afternoon, so we went straight to the square where they have that big horse race. Yeah, that they, the Campo, or I can't I remember what it's called. The horse race. Yeah. They have this huge square, which you'll see in the pictures, and they block it off with a racetrack around the Fill outside. Fill it with dirt. Fill it where the horses run with clay, put bleachers all around, and shove all the people in the middle, and they have these wild horse races twice yeah, a year. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, when I was looking at it, it's sort of like uh, Hogwarts when you have Slytherin yeah. and, and all the different houses. So they're all... I think they each each house has a horse in the race, and yeah. of course they're all betting on their own horse. I think there's 17 different areas, and whichever one wins, that's you like bragging that, that's like huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is the race? So all this prep work goes into this, and it's all of 90 minutes long? No, 90 seconds. Oh, nine. Oh, 90 seconds? Yeah, they just go around. Oh my God. Once. I thought 90 minutes was a... Yeah, and they, oh. and they ride bareback. So there's jockeys flying off, the horses and the horses keep running. Oh, wow. and I think you have to finish with a jockey on though to win. Oh, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Horse, first horse crossed the line. Yeah. So, but it was pretty neat. We had a nice yeah. lunch there. Yeah. Took a break. And, yeah. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> we had a nice lunch there and it was all great. Yeah. And, we and, um, checked it out. They have a nice cathedral. I think it's a cathedral. There, yeah. But it's but it was interesting because they only half built it, and then part of it that they intended on building well, it was, it was going to be one of the biggest chapels in Italy. Well, and, they built a nice big fancy cathedral, yeah. and then they decided, like, it's not big we, enough. we want a bigger yeah. cathedral. Yeah. So they started building it in the hmm, don't quote my numbers, but around 1340-ish. Okay. Somewhere in there, thir yeah. early 1300s. And then along came the Black Death, so oh, the bubonic plague. That's why they stopped. And they stopped, and it never got started. So now it's basically a yeah. wall and a parking lot. Yeah, it has the wall that they started. But yeah. it, yeah. And a fancy fancy place to park your car, where I guess would have yeah. been inside the church. But Yeah, it never got done. These things happen. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a, pretty, a pretty city for sure. After we were done looking around Siena, we packed up back on the bike and we didn't have very far to go. You would found, found us this neat little place. It wasn't really an agri-turismo kind of place, but it was just a... Yeah, it was kind of on a farm, a, a converted barn, I think. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Which was, was kind of neat. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but uh, it was nice. It was in the country and it was yeah. it was really quiet. And so we, we had two nights there because we wanted to explore yeah. around in the area. So instead of staying in the city, we stayed in the country. And yeah, and so that's yeah. that's where we wrapped up this this episode. So, uh, you know, and then catch us in the next one. And we're going to do a couple of rips around. And yeah. I think I think a big chunk of my day was spent looking for a leather bag. Yeah, that's right. We were looking <laughs> We went to every yeah. little town. Yeah. Because they have fantastic leather works. They do, yeah. So yeah, so we did that, and uh, I think we hit some a few. In the next one, we'll hit a few different hilltop towns. Which we did. Is the we do. Tuscany thing. Tuscany thing, yeah. Mm. So if you uh, like what we're putting together, like and subscribe would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the the next episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs>